two key financial sector reports this morning from Morgan Stanley and Bank of America. Those wrap up big bank earnings. Joining us now with his takeaways, Ken Leon, Director of Equity Research at CFRA. Ken, great to have you with us. We're seeing both stocks trade higher pre-market on the back of the results. Um, let's start off with Morgan Stanley, which is the, the bigger gain so far pre-market, almost 4%. Do we not care about the ongoing investigations into, you know, how they gather their assets into their customers, et cetera? Well, it's great to be with you. And, and certainly we're watching that because we don't want to see this to be something systemic. Hopefully it's a, it's a one-off and it doesn't damage the great brand that Morgan Stanley has in wealth management. Uh, the performance was excellent, like Goldman, uh, a little bit broader on wealth management. But equity underwriting was up 113 percent. And I think the story we'll be talking on CNBC this year is that that was all coming from the corporate side. But for the Blackstones, KKRs, there's a trillion dollars of equities that have to be released because their limited partners want to see those before they do new fundraising. So that will be very positive for Morgan Stanley and Goldman. And then, of course, you know, as you look to Bank of America, where you get breadth of other businesses, it was disappointing. It, it, it's, it's almost not their finest hour. Uh, net interest income, 54 percent of total net revenue uh, was, was flat. We saw deposits and loans flat. Credit card income, one of the best franchises in the industry, had flat card income, even though transactions were up 9 percent. So the only areas Bank of America did well were the areas that Goldman and Morgan Stanley excelled, which was investment banking, trading, and also wealth management. So I think Bank of America will come back. Brian Moynihan, CEO, um, they always come back. Uh, I think the Morgan Stanley call at 930 will be interesting because we got Ted Peck, a new CEO, and we get back to your first question in terms of what do they think about the, the federal government investigating their wealth business. Right, especially as wealth management, as you mentioned, the assets uh, fell, so there was weakness there. Uh, just quickly, uh, Ken, in terms of Bank of America, how concerned are you at all at this point about the held to maturity uh, portfolio that they have as rates go higher? Yeah, it's, a, it's a good question. And, and, you know, as an analyst, so they it went up slightly to $118 billion. It's the highest in the industry. Mm -hmm. But their deposit base is $2 trillion. So this is not anything that would be alarming as we had the bank crisis from those small banks last March. All right.